Hello friends, welcome to Friday Files. Today we are playing Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I just got all the DLCs, you know, the Highway Patrol Expansion, also all the vehicles, everything. So let's go ahead and make, I think the city is Brighton, Brighton. Let's go ahead and make Brighton very, very unsafe. No, no, I mean safe, yeah. I have played this, yeah, you can see, 8 hours, 30 minutes, but that's a long time ago. So I think what we will do, we'll start a new game, and hopefully we still are able to do highway patrols. Uh, okay, we can choose a couple of characters. I think Frank Miller is the one that resembles me most. Because, you know, I'm Caucasian. Game mode casual. I think we'll do the tutorials because I really don't remember how to play this game. Uh, do you want casual adjust the and more hints on what's happening around the player? Let's do casual for now and gradually we will put this up to simulation or whatever. Right? The start. Let's go do some police work. I will be making mistakes for sure but we will learn from them right I think I know the law you know and when we are allowed to frisk people and arrest people and all of that so we'll figure it out here's the district overview where you can pick your next shift you have to play five shifts each week you can take four days off a week and receive new shift options by pressing R. Thank you. Okay, so the only district we have open now is the melting pot. We need 10 rating star, blah, 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 to open downtown and Brixton. So maybe we are not able to go on highway patrols, which sucks, but we'll get there, right? Let's go to the melting pot. So this is everything that we have open as of now. We have DLC patrol car, compact police vehicle, call out for parking tickets, and only we can go to North Point. But it's gonna be alright, so you, you'll be joining me for, you know, from the beginning of the game, and hopefully to the end game where everything is unlocked. Alrighty then. Melting Pot is a diverse district that includes the neighbor neighborhoods North Point, Historic Downtown, Alcomi, Chester and Beaufort Landing. Parts of the district are very old, but it has continued growing and resulted in a diverse urban landscape where modern architecture meets historic buildings. Alrighty then. So we'll only make do parking tickets. <laughs> As such in the beginning a new day in the office check the available shifts each week you can request up to four new shifts by taking a day off okay so this is the only shift we have now and of course it's a foot patrol i believe right how long do we do you want to do Let's do 20 minute shifts. All right, we're a foot patrol. Uh, you can read all this if you want to. I'm going to start the shift. Let's do, let's ride some parking tickets. Hmm? Oh, lag spikes. What's up? What's going on? Uh, Oh yeah, I think it's just a, like in the beginning, you know, they have to load every asset in we and stuff like that. Of debris on the road. Is there an officer available to remove it? Road maintenance. Okay. Yeah. I'll accept. take care of it. 
All right, then. Hello, officer. It's your first day on the job, and your first shift is to issue parking tickets. Yay. So be on the lookout for vehicles violating parking regulations. Be on your guard and show presence when you encounter other violations. Will Always do. Always remember to have reasonable suspicion before you detain someone and a probable cause with sufficient evidence before making an arrest. I now, will. some days are better than the others, and remember, every day is different. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you, partner. I'll certainly remember that. I don't remember this happened, you know, when I played earlier. I think that's... I don't know if it's new, because it's been so long since I played this. That person just jaywalked. Welcome to your first day as a Brighton police officer. The first assignment is to issue parking tickets. If you see any violations during your shift, such as littering or jaywalking, you are encouraged to act. Detain the offenders, ask them for their ID and issue them a ticket. Keep Brighton's streets safe <laughs> or unsafe from any violations. In the top left corner, you will find information on the time, date, and duration of your current shift. All new officers are advised to use the handbook for additional information about certain duties. You can open the police computer from the tool wheel by pressing... Is that tap? Tap, yeah. If the game is too easy or too difficult, consider changing the game settings to enable or disable simulation features. Thank you. We've been getting a lot of calls concerning the parking situation over the last few days. Will you keep your eyes open, officer? Focus mode. Focusing on license plates makes them easier to read and see if they are expired. You can also focus on cars on the street and pedestrians. This is especially advisable when they look like a wanted person or they are exchanging items. Oh, there will be drugs. You might want to take a closer look at the suspicious situation by using right mouse button to receive intuition feedback. Copy that. Was the left mouse button? Yeah, left mouse button. So the only police vehicle we have now is this little bad boy. <laughs> is this a smart car? Okay, how do we... Okay, we can use turn signals. We'll be driving by the rules. M for police computer. What can we do with the police computer? Okay, we have... Ah, okay, this is the license plate we just focused on. Okay. So, do we have... Okay, I don't know how to... Um, put on the sirens and... But that shit. But we figured out. That car did not use a turn signal. You can use pull over sign if available, or when having access to your patrol car while driving behind it, blip and pull it over. How do we blip it? I don't know, we'll find out. But I did have a job already. We will go. We're police, so we can go on the wrong side of of the road, hopefully, <laughs> without getting getting penalized. Earn points based on your actions in the game. Shift points are rewards, conduct points are penalties. For example, asking for ID without any reason will deduct uh, the conduct points. After each shift. Both SP and CP rewards you with District XP, which earns your duty stars. You unlock items and other progression areas by accumulating enough duty I stars. So we have a, a lot of debris on the road here. <laughs> Let's remove them and make this road safe again. Ah, oh, this car has a very bad turning radius. <laughs> Does this even classify it as a car? Yeah, let's remove some debris. Here we go. What happened here? <laughs> Why is all this stuff on the road? 
Ok. Yay! We did good. So here we get a little report on if we get any uh, penalty points and such. So I think we did everything right. Use hand gestures to give traffic orders to drivers to resolve traffic jams and ensure a better flow of traffic during emergencies. Open the inventory wheel and select police hand gestures. Then choose between use, wait, move gesture, use U-turn gesture and use reverse gesture. Okay, I think this is new as well. Ensure you're standing in the driver's field of view so that they can see your hand gestures. That's pretty cool. How do we get the uh, controls? Keyboard bindings. Um, on foot. Open tool wheel is tab. Was not the tool wheel we were supposed to use, right? Stop escorting. Okay, we can escort. We can put on a hat. <laughs> How do we open that wheel? Oh, we have a garage where we can repair our car as well. I, I didn't know that. Form CPR, all this is new, right? Or is at least it's new to me. Ah, hand gestures here. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and find someone that is illegally parked. Write some tickets. That vehicle didn't use a turn signal. Which vehicle? Oh, that one over there. Someone's trying to steal a car. Where? Of stuff is going on here. <laughs> it's a car theft over here. You have just witnessed a car theft. Stop the criminal by scaring them away or by using a non lethal weapon. If the thief tries to escape, stop them before they have a chance to steal another car. If the thief flees with the stolen car, a motorized officer should pursue the vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and. Stop this guy. We we'll park right in front of him. Oh, get out of the car, man. Why can't I get out of the car? Okay, now I can. Hello, sir. Or missus. Uh, how do I... S how do I stop this guy? Uh, get out of the car, bitch! Oh. Uh. <laughs> what happened to you? Hi. How can I stop her, you know? Background check. Certain interactions with pedestrians and vehicles, like checking an ID or focusing on a license plate, enter a record in your police computer. The entity history displays all identification data for the current shift. Officers should make good use of the police computer, as they will find additional entity information that is not available on ID cards or license plates. The police computer can be accessed with C or via the tool. Tool wheel. Hi, citizen. So how can I? You just stole this car. You know? How do I aim? I don't know how to aim with this thing. Private police department trusts its well-trained police officers and equips each of them with a gun. As a good officer, you know that your gun is your last resort, and that you should never shoot a person. 
press left mouse button to aim. No, right mouse button and left to shoot. Yeah, uh, okay, 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 okay. But why can't I? I'm trying to aim, but I can't. What the f do I stop this? This person. I have no clue. To F do I turn on the sirens as well? Um, let's find out. Emergency lights, taco sirens on two. Okay. Taco blip on R. So that's how we blip. Okay, we stopped. So she stopped. Rather. So now I think we could can interact with her. I think this is the one that just stole this car, right? Uh car. Driving. I don't know, is this even the thief? I think so, right? Uh, background checks and documents. Suspicious driving behavior. Stolen car. Detain the driver because the car is port as stolen. The reason I stopped you is because the police computer reports this vehicle is stolen. No, this is my car. Is it? Get out of the out car, of your please. Car and move to the sidewalk, please. Let's focus on, on. Oh, suspects fleeing. Run. Uh. This civilian is resisting the law and has escaped. You are now allowed to chase and arrest him before fleeing. Remember that arresting frightened fleeing civilians without reasonable suspicion or those who have committed no violation is not allowed by law. I know. The stun gun is your primary weapon when a criminal flees. It shocks a person with electricity but will not kill a healthy human. Despite its non-lethal effect, its wrongful use can cost you your job. If you have no tool equipped, you can quick equip the stun gun as your default weapon. You can then aim it by pressing and holding right mouse button and shoot it with left. If another tool is already equipped, you either unequip your current tool or select the stun gun from the wheel by pressing tab. Nice to see you, officer. Oh, run! Hopefully we are faster than her. Why can't I aim? I can't aim it, I don't know why. Now she's trying to steal another car. Uh, how the F do we stop her, man? And why, and why the F can't I aim? I don't know. Aim too, yeah. 
I'm doing it right, but... Come on. During a shift, you may encounter drivers on the side of the road. They, ca they can be experiencing various problems, such as a broken down vehicle, or they have had an accident with an obstacle. Talk with the driver and find out what happened. Verify the driver's identity and offer your assistance. In case of an accident, don't forget to fill out an accident report. I think there's so many new news things to this game. I don't know why I'm not aiming. She's trying to steal multiple guns. Why can't I aim this effing gun? What? I don't know. That is... And can't I tackle her and stop her or something? And now she's out of game range. Awesome. Oh, I can go through here as well. Assigned areas. Your shift is assigned to an area. Patrollers shouldn't leave the currently assigned area. Yeah, but I'm chasing someone here. <laughs> Why can't I aim this effing gun? Maybe I'll try to use... The keypad. Come on. See if that works better because my mouse is not working properly. Well, that sucks. That could have been exciting, you know? So let's see if we can aim with the gamepad. A lot of calls have been coming in about the parking lot. Can you keep an eye on the situation? This one I can aim with, you know? And now I can aim with the mouse as well. I don't know what... What happened before. I think it was a bug of some sorts. Let's just leave the car, you know? And have a walk around. That car sucks anyway. Discovered a new point of interest. Okay. Is this not an illegally parked car? Let's check the sign here. No parking 12 noon, 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. Only on Wednesdays? But today is Monday, so. April 23. So the license plates are not expired. But is this not illegally parked? Is it not close, too close to the sidewalk here? I'm not sure. And it, I think it's illegally parked. Also, there's no park parking meter here. So I think we'll try and write a ticket. You know? Parking ticket. Uh, it's not a special parking zone, you know. Position and alignment. None of this feels true. No parking zone, yeah? Oh, too, too close to crosswalk. That's the one I wanted. Yes, I was right. We did good. Woohoo! The best police police officer Brighton has to offer. That's what I am. So those points of interest. Oh yeah. 
Uh, how do I greet back? Oh. So those points of interest is if someone asks us direction to something, you know? This one is definitely a parking violation, it's on the sidewalk. That car over there is illegally parked on the sidewalk. Let's issue a parking ticket. Ticket. Let's do that. Let's check the license plate first. It's not expired. And it's a handicap vehicle. And the parking meter is valid, so that's fine. So we'll just write a ticket for being on the sidewalk. Position and alignment on sidewalk. There we go. Let's check these cars on the other side if they're good. License plate not expired. And he has parked where there is no uh, parking meter. That can't be good, right? Is this a taxi zone, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That that must be illegal, right? Okay, it's valid. License plate is not expired. Hmm. Parking meter expired. No. Oh no. I didn't want to <laughs> press that. Damn it. This must be a no parking zone, right? Let's try it. Okay. Nope. Damn it! Let's just leave it. <laughs> I don't get, don't want too many penalties. You know? Ah, I thought this car was running, but it's from the sewers. This license plate is expired in May 21. That issues a ticket. And parking meter is expired as well. Let's do some tickets here. Parking ticket. Parking meter expired. And... Yeah, I know. Parking ticket, uh, expired license plate. Did it warrant... Uh, for us to tow the truck, this justifies towing. Yep, it's called I've a tow truck. I've got a car truck. here that needs towing. Can you send a record of my current location? Sure, it'll be with you shortly. Thank you. How about this car? Not expired. But the parking meter is. Oh, that calls for a ticket. Parking meter expired. What? What do you mean? Unjust fatigue of parking at an expired parking meter. Handicapped drivers are allowed to park in front of me. Ah, okay. Damn it. I didn't know that. But we're learning. We are learning. We are new at this job, you know. It's our first day. Of course we're going to make mistakes. Huh? Why does he have a taxi license plate? But no taxi sign on. That can't be right. But I don't think there's a parking ticket for that, you know? I don't know. I don't want to make more mistakes today, you know. 
Hey, that's the car we had towed. Yeah, license plate is good. The parking meter is good. I don't know if this is too far away from the sidewalk. I don't think so, right? This parking meter is expired. And it's too far out from the sidewalk. Parking ticket. Parking meter expired. Write you another parking ticket. Uh, for position and alignment. Too far to the street. But none of these issue a towing, I think. Alrighty then. Broken windshield. The driver, drivers of cars with broken windshield should be detained for, tra for a traffic violation. However, parked vehicles with a broken windshield are not illegal. Okay. After pulling over a vehicle with a broken windshield, you sh should inform the driver of the reason for detaining them. Do so by selecting Detain Driver from the radio menu, then Detain Car, and then Broken Windshield. You then have the choice between issuing them a ticket or a verbal warning. Make your selection for Radio Tool, then choose Issue Violation Car, and finally Broken Verbal warning? No, 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 no. Not on my shift. We are writing them tickets. Oh, so how can I... Hello, officer. Hey, oi. Hello. <laughs> how do I stop this guy? I think there's a way we have a, a stop sign or something, right? Uh, let's find out. No? Yes, no, maybe. Escorting, maybe. How do we stop vehicles when we are on foot? I don't know. Damn it. Uh. Oh, we don't have a pullover sign. Need more doosters. Okay, so we can't even stop this this driver. Hmm? That sucks. Uh, how do I unequip that? Okay. Go ahead. Let's find some more cars to ticket. Smoking tailpipe. That car has a smoking tailpipe. You can use pullover sign if available. When have access to your patrol car, drive behind it and blip and pull it over. Yeah. So we should have have brought our patrol car, you know. That's the only way we can we can stop them. This is definitely too far onto the street. License plate not expired. Parking ticket, position and alignment, too far into the streets. Okay. Not that's good. Are they even allowed to park here? Okay, why are people not allowed to park on Wednesdays? <laughs> ah. Because street cleaning, okay. Let's 
showcase. Oh, that's good. And it's a handicap vehicle, so it doesn't matter if this is expired or not. It is a handicap vehicle, so it doesn't matter if if the parking meter is expired or not. This was not a handicap vehicle, right? Nope. Parking ticket. Parking meter expired. Here we go. That person just jaywalked. Under glow lights. That car has under glow lights. You can use pull over sign if available or when having access to your patrol car. Yeah. Okay, so that's not allowed. So this guy just jaywalked. Hello. Uh, issue violation. After gaining evidence of a committed viola violation, punish the criminal. Either issue them a ticket, leave it with a verbal warning or arrest them for severe felonies. You can issue violations one by one or select them to issue all violations at once, even after handcuffing someone, it's still possible to issue additional violations. Okay. You're jaywalking, sir. And we are no. We I'm are a no you warning a guy. For jaywalking. It should be about twenty-five dollars. What? My lawyer will take care of it. Uh. It was justified, but I thought he said. Didn't even get a report for it. What? That guy was jaywalking. But we got the penalized. I don't even know why we don't have a report for what we did wrong there. Huh? Was it the wrong guy? <laughs> Maybe. Damn it. We are getting fired on day one. <laughs> we are police, so we... We jaywalk. No problem. Did you just open your door while driving? Okay, now we have the, the report. On just for ticket for jaywalking. Ticketed an innocent person. Okay. Damn it. That's the wrong person then. I was pretty sure that was the guy. It's a valid parking meter. Over the new point of interest, Burger Heaven. So, if anyone asks us where Burger Heaven is, we know where it is. We just witnessed how a pedestrian threw garbage on the ground. Let's go over and detain the person for littering. You can decide if you want to issue a person a ticket or leave it with a verbal warm. No tickets here, man. Hello, mister. You're getting a violation. For littering. Get a ticket. I have to issue you a ticket for littering, which should cost yeah. you up to twenty-five dollars. Oh come on! That's so much money. Then don't do. Then don't do it. How you doing, officer? Hi there. I'm pretty sure. To, look, there's a garbage bin right here. You see? And you're even walking towards it. 
That was stupid $25 to use. Did we check the license plate on this one? We did. Not this one. Not expired. It's all good. So we have to remember that every Wednesday uh, there will be cleaning on some streets. So that so we can issue parking tickets for that as well. Someone drinking in public? Uh, hello, mister. Are you alright? Look pretty drunk. But I don't... I don't see him drinking, though. Drinking in public. Ticket. You're being charged and ticketed for up to $300 for drinking in $300? public. $300? Really? What? That is so much money! All you Americans out there, is that how how much you get ticketed for drinking in public? Holy crap. I'm happy I live in Europe. We can drink anywhere. You know, freedom is what we have in Europe. Are you trying to steal that car? No? It was your car. <laughs> How do I know if people are stealing cars or not? Or if, they, if it's their car? I don't know. Well, it's a broken windshield. Someone's trying to steal a car? Where? Or there? Hey! Come back here. What's up, yeah, I can't. St I can't stop her. Damn it! Okay, here they cannot park on Fridays. The thief got away. Yeah, of course. I can't stop it. I don't even have a a stop sign or anything, you know, <laughs> or a pullover sign. We are barely a police officer. <laughs> oh, expired license plate. Was it handicapped? No, right? Nope. Let's do a parking ticket. Expired license. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. We are getting fired, you know. <laughs> it's a parking. Parking meter expired. Damn it. Our conduct points is going down. Fast. Yeah, it's a handicapped car. No parking on Fridays, but it's allowed to be here. Aha! Oh, he's allowed to be here, of course. Valid. Okay. Valid. So some streets get cleaned on Fridays and some on Wednesdays. You know? Hey, you have a jaywalker. Hello, mister. Let's make sure that we talk to the right guy this time. Issue a violation for jaywalking. Ticket. I have to fine you for jaywalking. It will cost you $25. So much money for such a small infraction. Small infraction? You could have could, could make a big accident here, man. It's a serious crime. Okay, our shift is almost over. I think we'll do one shift every episode of this game.
or maybe two. Sometimes. Hey, this guy was jaywalking. Get back here, man. Nice to see you, we are going to be a really Gestapo police officer here. <laughs> you will be fined for jaywalking. We are not turning our blind eye. Why does it cost so anything. much? That's just the way it is. Ending the shift. Your first shift as a Brighton police officer is over. Head back to the nearest precinct. You can still enforce the law, unroot and handle minor incidents. However, the police department won't reward officers who extend their overtime too long. Your shift okay. is over, officer. Let's head to the police precinct, which is right here. As a patrol officer, you're never really off duty. True that, Miss Sister. <laughs> Mister. Ah. <laughs> uh. And shift. Oh, all those conduct points we lost. <laughs> it wasn't great. Shift summary. We lost 25 conduct points. But do we get any duty stars? We got one. Yay! Now we got call out for speeders. Awesome. Unlock the new tool, a radar gun. We unlock the new neighborhood, Beaufort Landing. Awesome. So we can now issue speeding tickets, you know, and use our radar gun and stuff. That's pretty awesome. So that'll be it for episode one. Thank you for joining me from zero to hero in police simulator thank you all for watching until next time bye bye